Well, what are the three main reasons people surrender their pets? There's no particular order, but it's usually because they may be moving to a different location, can't take care of them anymore, or they don't have time. Well, on this edition of In Your Shoes, we make time at the Jackson County Animal Shelter to volunteer and check out our lovely doggos and kittens on the coast who are still in need of a new place to call home. From our first responders to our furry little friends, today I'm going to be volunteering at the Jackson County Animal Shelter. Joining me today is Mary D, and I am going to be in your shoes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Mary D is the adoption coordinator at the shelter, and for seven years, Mary D and her staff have taken pride in putting these animals first, putting forth their best efforts yeah, in sure finding them a new home. In this episode, we'll take a tour of the shelter, meet some new friends along the way, and get down and dirty with some chores. What made you want to get interested in this field to begin with? Well, I love animals, of mm -hmm. course, and I just happened to see it online one day, and I thought, well, I can do that. Actually, it's my dream come true working here, so. On the first stop of the tour, we stroll through the halls as workers are cleaning out cages and kennels. So our four-legged friends are squeaky clean and ready for adoption. Uh -huh. They come in here and they clean all these cages, and get them ready. She'll be going home today. The euthanization rate has went down dramatically over the years as the volunteer and foster program kicked off, okay. allowing more paws on deck when it comes to the animals. Up next, we head to the kennels. And everything ready, so that's why they're on the outside. And then they'll bring them back inside and they'll clean the outside. 49 runs. And believe me, I used to do it for two and a half years and it's not easy. For people that may volunteer for the first time and things of that nature, what seems to be sort of the experience that they get when they come in here and they just like, wow, like, I didn't know that they were going through that. They didn't realize how yeah. bad it was, the, the, you know, how many animals are here. It's, it's, a, it's a hard job. I, I don't, it's very difficult. It's, it's, my heart breaks every day. I feel like, you know, we all feel sometimes like we're, we, we can't get them all out, and we can't because there's just too many animals saturating the system and not enough people to take them. On average, the Jackson County Animal Shelter receives 450 to 600 animals a month consistently putting them over max capacity. On the adoption floor, we have uh, 20 kennels, and one gets adopted, I move another one up from back here. And what we do is when I get space up front, I move them up. That's part of my job is I move them up to the front and make their cage card and post them on Facebook and try to get them you know, either rehomed or back to home. I think a lot of people are generally, especially um, young folks, yeah. are saddened when they see the number of animals that we have in cages and kennels. Um, and I tell them all the same thing, you know, don't be sad, they're in a place where they can be helped now. This help includes a trip to the vet clinic. Where we do the magic spay and neuter that everyone should do. Alright, well, I've done my touring and now I think it's time for me to get to work. <laughs> the saying usually goes work before play, but this wasn't the case as my first task was on the playground. This little cutie didn't have a name just yet, so since we live in South Mississippi, I came up with the perfect name for the time being. So many Sally Joe. Sally Joe. <laughs> Sally Joe. Oh, she's excited. Well, sit for me. Good girl. There you go. Good. It's your world. I'm just living in it. There you go. That's what I was waiting on. While Sally Joe took care of her business, it was time for me to take care of my own for my next task on the job. This is so you don't get poop on your feet. All right, here you go. Off to work. I guess you could say Christmas came early this year as the pups left me some uh, presents. See, I have a Chewini at home and she doesn't make messes like this. After becoming certified as a professional pooper scooper, we wrapped up the work day by cleaning and spraying down cages. You gotta rinse them out too. So what did we learn today? Number one, volunteering, let alone being a staff member at an animal shelter, it's not easy. And number two, we all love home. And that's why these pets, they need a new one. So please, adopt, don't shop. Right? Ain't that right? Huh? Adopt, don't shop. Adopt, don't. In Jackson County, Jalen Morris, News 25. Looking for ways to help, to adopt, or volunteer? Well, we got you covered. On August 17th, Clear the Shelters will take place across the country, and some of the News 25 crew will be at the Jackson County Animal Shelter as well. And always, if you have any ideas on what my next job or task should be, go to my Facebook page at Jalen Morris WXXV, like it, and let me know what's next.